Well, greetings everybody. In this strange times we have right now, the museum is closed, but it doesn't stop us from trying to get out there to see you. Uh, we, today we would like to bring you a, an overview of the Lemonsteed, the War Brothers Gallery, of uh, both their lives and their birds that they've made in that time period. Let's see, we're at the very beginning of the whole thing. Let's go inside and take a look around. Come on. We are standing here at the very beginning of the Ward Brothers Gallery. This is more or less a, an informational wall. A lot of photographs of uh, the Ward Brothers during their, their beginning years, their time periods. We actually go back to uh, Lem and his father, Travis Ward, together. Um, they were all barbers. Uh, Lem and Steve were both barbers, as was their father. Uh, Lem took over his father's barber shop on uh, Sackertown Road. Um, and uh, uh, ended up with, uh, when Steve went to war, uh, they all got together after he came back. Uh, the two brothers had to break up because they were both barbers and they couldn't both cut hair out of the same barber shop. That's not how Sacratown Road was. There wasn't that many heads of hair to be cut. So one of them went down on Asbury Avenue uh, and opened up a shop there. Um, after a while, they realized that uh, most of all of their hair cutting was during the afternoon and evening. Uh, when everybody came back in from the water. Um, so they had during the days to, to make decoys. Um, and that's what uh, Lem started with, with making decoys. Uh, Steve had to go to war. He went uh, to the European theater in World War I. When he came back, Lem was showing him decoys that he had made during that time period. And uh, I think the spark kindled into a flame at that point. Um, and they have progressed to the point where they have made decoys ever since. Um, and what they have done is they combined forces, uh, closed down the barbershop on, uh, on Asbury and moved into the one in Sackertown, uh, which is right beside the, the family home place where they all lived. Um, they actually moved to one barbershop. They brought in a building from down the road and attached it to the shop uh, to make it bigger so they could have enough room that they could both uh, uh, do some barbering, but they could also uh, carve birds. Um, and that was the big focus at the time. So this wall portrays a lot of that movement and it shows the different parts of their gallery and their gallery, their shop, you know. Um, there's a big difference between studios and shops. People who really do a lot of work, do them out of a shop. People who uh, want to meet a lot of the public, they do them out of studios. So it all depends who we're talking to at the time. But uh, they have definitely had a shop and they weren't encumbered by a whole lot of fancy stuff. So when you come to the museum and see this wall, take a few minutes and go over it, look at it, just like we're going to take a few moments here and look at some of the photographs.